Would you be concerned about mo having multiple pregnancy when you're going through IVF treatment? What's the problems with having twins first? Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Leung, obstetrician gynecologist, fertility specialist, and endoscopic surgeon working in IVF Australia. Welcome to Fertile Minds, and I hope in today's video we can discuss these uh, interesting topics to you. Now, first of all, why are we actually interested in multiple pregnancy or twin pregnancy? Traditionally, IVF treatment is always linked to multiple births. In doing IVF treatment, we usually need to get multiple eggs from a lady by using medication to stimulate the ovaries, as well as surgically collecting those eggs outside the body and then fertilize with the partner's sperm. At the end of five days culture, we then select embryos to put back inside the womb. Now the crux of the problem in whether there will be excess risk of having multiple pregnancy is related to how many embryos is being put back inside the uterus. The more you put back inside the uterus, the more the chances of pregnancy, the more the chance will be the multiple pregnancy as well. So that's why traditionally, when IVF is being first developed, when it's still in the infancy or development stage, the chance of an implantation of a particular embryo is on the lower side. And so that's why many countries or many laboratories in the world is actually trying to compensate for that by putting back multiple embryos in order to achieve a uh, more highly successful outcome. As technology has developed, and in particular in the situation in Australia where we have fantastic laboratory and fantastic technology available, we have a very significant improvement in terms of chance of pregnancy, uh, even with a single embryo transfer. And so over the past few years, we often see that we are recommending couples going through IVF treatments to have one embryo replaced rather than multiple embryos. Now the additional embryo or surplus embryo, we're not throwing them away. We usually suggest them to freeze the embryos so as to still get the good chance that those uh, surplus embryo will be able to benefit you in the future. What we are trying to achieve is one healthy child at a time. Now multiple pregnancy, although sounds fantastic, in general, it is considered a high-risk pregnancy. Human body is usually designed to carry one baby at a time, so if you stick more than one baby inside the tummy, then unfortunately you are running a high risk of developing complication. Now the complication can be ranges from early pregnancy issues, such as the risk of miscarriages or malformation, or later on, such as the development of diabetes, hypertension, cesarean birth, or handicapped child or premature delivery. So although sounds wonderful, you have an instant family while you're having multiple pregnancy. Indeed, it is a complicated issues, and often it will drain your family as well as the um, medical resources. So in Australia, we are pleased to say that we have been having a very um, working in the forefront by reducing the risk of multiple pregnancy. And in fact, if you look at the worldwide figure, Australia is actually in the forefront of these and we are running only about 7% chance of multiple pregnancy comparing to other countries which can sometimes be having the risk of up to about 20 to 30%. So hopefully by looking through this video, you will understand about why the doctors would be recommending the best outcome for you in terms of not, achieving, not only achieving a pregnancy quickly, but achieving a healthy pregnancy at the end without further complication and minimizing the uh, uh, issues in relation to uh, multiple births. So you might be wondering whether uh, IVF would you at a very high risk of developing both, um, twins, triplet, or multiple pregnancy. In fact, if you look at the data, um, the IVF itself uh, nowadays it actually gives you a significant control of the risk of multiple births or resulting in twins or triplets. Because the fact that we can actually control how many embryos we go back inside the womb, we can literally eliminate most of these risks by doing a single embryo transfer where the risk of twins, for example, would usually coming from having identical twins. That means the embryo split into two, rather than having multiple embryos landed on the wombs at the same time. On the other hand, if you are considering doing insemination treatment, this may actually put you in a slightly high risk of developing um, twins or multiple pregnancies. Simply uh, put, the use of insemination treatment would involve the use of sometimes medication to stimulate the ovaries, and there might be an occasion that we have more than one egg being ovulated at the same time, where the egg will be released inside a woman's tummy. And if that's actually happening more than once, that means that you get two eggs or three eggs happening at the same time, then the risk of multiple pregnancy or twins and triplets will be going up substantially. So that's why 
most of the time, we our general consensus is that if you're doing insemination treatment with the um, injection medication, the risk of having multiple births, such as twins and triplets, would be can can be as high as about 15 to 20 percent. On the other hand, if you decide to go for a single embryo transfer in terms of IVF treatment, the risk of multiple pregnancy or twins will be very low. We're talking about you know usually less than one percent chances. So hopefully, with this information. Your doctors will be able to guide you through your decision whether you should go for insemination or go for IVF. Thanks for watching. So, if you want to hear more contents about um, fertility treatments or um, uh, infertility, feel free to click the subscribe button. If you want to ask questions, feel free to leave comments below, and we'll try to answer them as much as we can. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.